Hello everyone. Today we're going to be going over question 7 from paper 2 of the sample assessment material. So, this says the curve C with equation y is ax minus 5 over x minus b, where a and b are integers, cross the x-axis at the point 2.5 comma 0. The asymptote to C, which is parallel to the y-axis, has equation x is equal to 1. So first we must show that a is equal to 2, and then we must find the value of b. Alright, so let's get started. To find the value of a, which is on the numerator, we need to, we need to use this information that it passes through the point 2.5 comma 0. So since we're looking for a y-intercept, some place where the x is 0, we can set the denominator equal to 0 because when the denominator I mean the numerator equal to 0, because when the numerator is equal to 0, the entire function will be equal to 0. So that means when it's crossing the x-axis, you will get this x is equal to 2.5. You can substitute 2.5 in for x, and that will work. So you get 0 equals a 2.5 minus 5, then you solve this equation in the normal way, so 5 is a times 2.5, and therefore a is 2. So this is, you should write that is when y is equal to 0 at 0, or rather 2.5 comma 0. And secondly, we need to find the value of b. So we'll use this information that the asymptote to c, which is parallel to the y-axis, has equation x is equal to 1, because when you have a vertical asymptote, a line like this, where points will go to positive infinity and negative infinity, or the other way around, it's generally because the fraction is approaching a very small number, or zero, in which case it would be undefined. Because when it approaches these really small numbers, you're dividing by a really small number, and so you get a really big number as your result for the function. All right, so we want to find the value of b. And since there's the equation x is 1, and we know that x minus b cannot be equal to 0. Since the asymptote is, or rather, this is not b, this is just a continuation of part a because it's part a split into i and ii. Since the asymptote is x is equal to 1, 1 minus b cannot be equal to, or 1 minus b is equal to 0, and therefore b is equal to 1. So now we know that a is 2 and b is 1, we get this curve that y is 2x minus 5 over x minus 1. Now, we need to find the coordinates to the point where c crosses the y-axis. Now, when x is 0, because that's the line of x is 0, the y-axis is just the line of x is 0, so you substitute 0 in for x to get your y value where it crosses the y-axis. So y is equal to 2 times 0 minus 5 over 0 minus 1, which is equal to minus 5 over minus 1, which is just positive 5. So it's asking for the coordinates of the point. Do not just answer this 5. You need to give it in the coordinates form, because it's asking you for coordinates, not a value of y. So you would write 0, 0,5. And that's your one mark question. 
And then next, you would find the equation of the asymptote to C, which is parallel to the x-axis. All right, so since you have y is equal to 2x minus 5 over x minus 1, as x approaches infinity, y approaches this expression like 2 infinity minus 5 over infinity minus 1 or whatever. And th this, n the rule of thumb here is that when the degree of the numerator is the same as the degree of the denominator, as in what is the highest power of x in, the, in each expression, so here the highest power of x is x, it's just x or x to the power of 1 in both ones. So for this kind of equation, you would take that the asymptote parallel to the x-axis is simply y is equal to 2 divided by 1. So you just take the top coefficient divided by the bottom coefficient when the degree is the same. But here's a bit of intuition. So as x approaches any very large number, y approaches 2 times that very large number, minus 5, divided by a very large number, minus 1. Now, we can get rid of these minus 5 and minus 1 because they are so insignificant compared to these extremely large numbers that it hardly makes a difference. So you get y approaches 2 infinity over infinity. And since these very large numbers are going to be of the same scale, they're going to be the same number indeed, then they will cancel out and you'll get y approaches 2. So if we're taking this infinity symbol, not to mean infinity, but just some insanely large number, I hope it is visible to you why this would approach 2. That's because this minus 5 and minus 1 are completely negligible to the graph. And so you just get to work in the sense of the scale of these large numbers. So 2 times infinity divided by infinity. All right, so we need to find the equation of the asymptote. So they want us to give it in an equation form. So we have to give our answer in an equation that y is equal to 2. So this is a 2. Make sure you write your numbers clearly in the exam. Otherwise, there will be issues, just issues. Your teacher will be upset with you because you did the math correctly, but they couldn't read your answer. That is really the most tragic thing a person can face. All right, so using the axes below, sketch the curve C, showing clearly the asymptotes and the coordinates of the points where C crosses the coordinate axes. All right, so we know that the crossing points, I'll just write X points, cross points here. We know it crosses the axes at 2.5, 0, and 0, 5. And how to peek the mark scheme earlier, it turns out you can actually just write 5 or 2.5 if it's next to an axis, because they'll know that y is 0 on the x-axis and x is 0 on the y-axis. So you can just write 2.5 and 5, but personally I prefer to write the whole point coordinate system depending on how strict the marker is being. The marker almost a hundred percent chance they just won't they won't deduct you marks for this it's just what i'm comfortable doing all right so using axes below sketch the curve c showing clearly the asymptotes and the coordinates of the points where c crosses the coordinate axes all right so let's say this is uh one two three four five and it crosses here at zero five and then maybe this is half the distance. So it crosses here at 2.50. And then we know that it has an asymptote at y is equal to 2. So let's just draw a line here. And on top of that has an asymptote at x is equal to 1. So we draw a, we get to draw this vertical line here. And now you can kind of see that the line will be in this kind of shape because 
we have the asymptotes and then there's a point here and a point here and then these kinds of functions where it's like a, ax minus b over cx minus d or whatever where the degree is the same and it's just the one x you'll get like either this shape or this shape perhaps this shape or this shape in special cases but not often all right so you get a point here and a point here and you will see that it must mean that there's a curve something like here and something like here so we'll just draw that largely onto the graph and it's a smooth curve almost touching the asymptotes but never meeting it so you got to make sure it's separate from the asymptotes all right so now, now that we're done going through this question, let's head over to the mark scheme and see if we got it correct. I'm very excited to do question eight with you guys because it is a binomial theorem question and it is quite interesting and challenging. You really have to think outside of the box for it. All right, so... All right, so part... 1, trying to find the value of a, x minus 5 is 0, a is 2, yep, we got that correct. And then b is 1. I guess that's all you needed, to be honest. You don't even need any working apart from just stating that b is 1. So I suppose it is possible that you could just do this, but in, in all fact, it is best to show your working so that even if you get the wrong answer, the examiner won't penalize you later in the question. All right, so when x is 0, y is minus 5 over minus b is 5 over 1 is 5. Right, so what we did is we showed the full substitution of x into 0 because we wrote it in the form 2, 0, minus 5 over 0, minus 1. But you can also do this if you just set x to 0 and then you find the expression that it's minus 5 over minus b, it's just 5. All right, so we gave it in coordinate form, which is good. And then, yep, y is 2. They don't require working for that either, so I'm sensing a common theme where they will not require that much working or any working at all if you just want to find the asymptotes to a curve. And finally, it is looking at this chart. So, like I said, you can just write 5 and 2.5. You don't have to write the full coordinates but I'm just more comfortable writing the full coordinates any, so anyway. So this would be 2.5 comma 0, and this would be 0 comma 5. All right, now, so you get one mark for the correct asymptotes drawn and one mark for the correct intersections with axes. And finally, there's one mark for the curves being the correct quadrants. Now, what that means is that we know the curve was actually like this, if you happen to draw it in the incorrect quadrant, something like that, then of course you must have gotten something wrong or something is not right with your calculator because you can determine the shape of a graph from your graphical calculator if you have that in exam. It's a very powerful tool and you should use it. But the fact that you know the points of intersection will just help you find the shape anyway. And yep, so there's three marks there. All of these answers were correct. Eight marks. Alright, thank you for watching.